So when people ask what our team does, it's simple to describe. It's hard to pull off, but simple to describe. We help organizations tell great stories, deliver them well, and create meaningful change. We know that in the area of public health, strategic communications can deliver efficient and rapid impact at scale. And it's a triple win intervention that accelerates public health, it creates individual behavior change, millions of people of, at a time. It can shape culture that helps shape how people perceive health issues, and it creates demands for new policies that can protect people in the future. In fact, in a campaign in India where we were supporting people to quit chewing or quit smoking tobacco, we prompted millions of quit attempts at just seven cents per quit attempt using media as an intervention. It's really hard to imagine a more efficient public health intervention than that. So why aren't they being used more broadly with governments and philanthropy funding these kinds of health campaigns? In fact, we saw in a recent WHO report called the GATS report that looks at media campaigns across countries being used in the tobacco control area, we saw the lowest level of investment in campaigns since they started measuring more than a decade ago. First of all, many public health programs think about individual behaviors and services and don't start by thinking about communication interventions that work at scale. It's just not seen as a standalone intervention and that's one reason why it's underinvested and we think lots of actors should, should look at it again. Second of all, a lot of leaders think of communications as an additional set of activities rather than as a core intervention that can accelerate other interventions like providing services. And what we have found at Vital Strategies that, that is that when you bring together communications expertise, public health thinking, and a mission-driven team that understands the larger picture of public health, you can create long-term change. And one of the great changes we've seen is that when you mount campaigns with governments and civil society, you also build the expertise for them to mount them on their own. So when you leave an environment or leave a context, that activity keeps going. And it works in our tobacco control program in just 10 focused countries over the last year. We've seen these countries bucking the trend and investing $50 million in their own resources in public health campaigns that can improve people's well-being.